Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> so, a lot of guys with FTRs, back in the day, 2019, before the ECU flash came out, we had to use a dyno jet. Um, and the dyno jet was nice because you go to your ECU and clear codes and read codes very easily. Well, Indian has this new part. Well, not, not necessarily new, but it's a uh, diagnostic port to OBD2 uh, adapter. So there's a the part number, 2414. 868 I think this part was maybe like 50 bucks or something like that So we do is you plug it in where you normally plug your PV3 in it Has this harness and it goes to an OBD2 Connector so what I'd have is from my vehicles. I have this generic uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi OBD2 reader so this thing's I don't know, probably eight years old I'm sure there's a better cheaper one now, but I think this was like 10 bucks <clears throat> and I pair that with an OBD2 Fusion app. So this app I think cost me $10 for my iPhone, again, years ago, and I never had to touch it. So with this app, you can view your dashboard, um, and you can customize what you have in here. Um, obviously everything's low because of where it's at. But now, what you can do is you can run diagnostic codes. Let's see here. It did disconnect it. All right, let's try and reconnect it right over there. And go back and connect. All right, so now we're connected. So now we'll be able to see the dashboard. There we go. All right, so you got your O2 sensors, accelerometer, that's doing nothing. Um, your battery, so it's 13.1 volts. So if you wanted to, if you have a phone up here, you can sit there and mount this, and you can do your battery, engine temp. So there's a bunch of different things you can customize over here. You go through your menu and you can change things. And then the best part is you can go to your diagnostics. I'll hit refresh. So I did have a code, and it was. Let's see here, 250 cycle, 255 cycles ago and almost and 7,000 miles ago. So I cleared it with this. I forget what it was. It was like a low voltage thing or something like that. <clears throat> so not only does it work on the FTR, it also works on the Challenger. So on the Challenger, it goes right here. So I'll hook it back up and see what it does on the Challenger. All right, so we're connected to the Challenger. Exact same thing. You connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, it reads the bike, so it knows the VIN number, Challenger, and everything like that. Obviously, you just plug your port in down here. Batteries, all the same stuff. Let's go into the diagnostics and see if we have anything. So we'll go over here, refresh, and we got no codes. And then we'll go in here just to verify. I know it's crazy, but we don't have codes. And we have no codes. So I was having a uh, adaptive fuel code. I changed my plugs and it went away after riding about 10 or so miles so the code didn't come up. The main reason why I bought this was to clear that code but uh, changing out the plugs did it because I was running this exhaust system without a cat for a couple thousand miles before I got my ECU flash and that's when the code popped up um, and then it kind of came and gone, came and went. So we'll see if it stays away. I'll just keep this thing in my saddlebag for if it comes up to see what happens. But if you want a cheap and easy way to clear codes, this part number for pliers is what you need to get.